Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from ShouldIGetIt.com and in this video I want to show you a bunch of sample portraits that I shot with the Canon 24mm f2.8 lens attached to the Canon 60D. What's awesome is that this lens only costs 130 bucks brand new and I actually got this body and lens combo on Craigslist for only $325. So keep in mind that you can take portraits like this for less than $400, which is absolutely incredible. And if you already have a Canon body, you can just buy this lens and use it. So if you have something like the Canon T3i or T4i or T5i, any of those, or like the 7D or the 60D or the 70D or the 80D or even the SL1 or SL2 uh, Canon DSLR, you can use this lens on any crop sensor Canon DSLR. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the bokeh of this lens, so the out of focus elements the sharpness of this lens build quality stuff and you can see it's basically just this tiny tiny pancake lens it's very lightweight it's basically plastic but uh it's totally fine it holds up i would trust it you know to last me years and years and i'm also going to share some lighting tips with you guys as i shot all of these portraits in natural light and you can see that i also did a little bit of editing just in lightroom and i'm going to tell you one of my favorite lightroom plugins of how i did these edits with basically just a preset and a few minor adjustments so first let me show you how sharp this lens is so you can see this photo of my friend nolan if we zoom into the eyes you can see very sharp image here and so you can see this is the before, this is the after. So just a little bit of editing in Photoshop, but I will show you guys some that I did just in Lightroom. Uh, so you can see the sharpness there. I'll show you guys again a different sharpness example. So here's an image of Fiara. You can see this at ISO 320, very nice and sharp on the eyes, had no problem finding focus. The only thing is when I shot with the sun in the background, as I did for this image of Alaska here, let me pull it up. Uh, the lens did have some issue finding focus. So when it was really, really bright in the background, there was a lot of sun coming into the camera. It had an issue finding focus. So what I had to do was kind of use my hand as a lens hood to cover it up. And then I would focus and move my hand out of the frame. And so you can see this actually in some of my photos of Michael. So if I go down here, you'll see that I used my hand to cover the camera. So right here, you can see it was kind of having trouble focusing. And then if I put my hand, you can see a lot more contrast and it was focusing just fine. And then I would move my hand and shoot the final image like I did here. And then there is an edit. Now, uh, in terms of lighting, let me share a, a couple of really easy tips with you guys. So as you can see in these images uh, right up here, Michael's face is very evenly lit, which is great. But if he walked back just about two feet, you would see that the right side of his face is very bright. Uh, and this is kind of distracting and also doesn't give the most um, kind of beauty enhancing light. And so to do this, you wanna make sure you have even lighting on your subject. So you can see in this shot of Michael, I had him stand with the sun behind him. So his entire face was in the shade. And then for my photos of Alaska, same idea. You can see when Alaska was on the left side of the frame, there was a lot of light hitting her face and causing shadows of her hair on her face and on her shoulders. When she walked over to the right side of the frame and had the sun behind her, we got this really nice even light. And then you can see with a little bit of editing, I got it to look really good. So I shot this photo a little bit dark and then I brightened it up and added a preset. Now, speaking of presets, let me introduce you guys to the fader plugin. Some of you might be using this. It is definitely my favorite plugin, but let me show you real quick. So here is my before and after. So you can see on the left, my before, on the right, my after, and I'll show you how to get this. So right now I'm gonna reset this image. So we're gonna open our develop panel, reset, and you can see it's on the before. And I have these presets that I downloaded online. If you want the link, shoot me an email and I will find uh, find where I got these presets, but I believe they were free. I got them a couple of years ago. But basically here, you can see that we have these presets and I think they are just, they're good, but they're way too strong for my taste. You can see that they're very intense. What's cool is I can then take the fader plugin and use that to control how strong I want my plugins to be. So you can see after it loads, because again, free plugin, trying to save as much money as I can here, of course, shooting with a cheap lens, cheap camera, but getting great results. You can see that uh, when we go to uh, the fader, we can choose our folder. So I have this folder of Visco style presets, and let's say I want to do SP05. If I wanted the preset to be stronger for whatever reason, I could go up to 150%, and you can see that it's super intense right here. But I'm gonna do something maybe around 50%, and then check 70%, and boom, I think that 70 looks really good. So we got that right there. And I wanna make the image just a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna slide it up right here. So that is how I use the fader to edit these portraits. And that was basically it for almost all of them. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 
I know it was quick, but I just want to show you that this lens is really sharp. The bokeh is nice. The 35 millimeter format of the lens is great uh, in terms of being kind of equivalent because it's a 24 millimeter times 1.6 crop factor on the Canon. So it's just about between 35 and 40 millimeters, which is a great focal range. And I think if you have a 50 millimeter f1.8 and you want a little bit of a wider lens, this is a fantastic lens to go to. You can see that these images just come out really sharp. The lens is awesome, captures great color. You have some nice bokeh and you have a very wide kind of field of view, uh, which is still very intimate looking for portraits, which is awesome. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in a comment below. If you're planning on filming a video with this, check out the sample clip. If you're wondering what this lens looks like when you're filming video, I'd say it looks pretty damn good. You can see right now I'm filming at f2.8 on the Canon 7DD, and this has the dual pixel AF, which does really well in terms of tracking. So if I move back, it'll track, and you can see the lens focuses really quickly and quietly. If I move forward, the lens again will catch focus really well, or I can tap on the touch screen and have it focus on the background there. You can see I'm kind of nicely blurred out, not a ton, but then I can focus on myself again. Keep in mind if you're filming on something like the Canon 60D and you don't have dual pixel AF, then uh, it'll be manual focus like this. And then once you move out, it'll be blurred or if you move too close, it'll be blurred. But again, I recommend a camera with dual pixel AF if you're gonna be filming video. Now, another thing to note is uh, your lighting, of course, still has to be really good. So if you're looking for a good light, I recommend this young new YN360. I'll have the link down below. Uh, but otherwise, this is a great portrait lens. I highly recommend it. If you have a Canon 70D, 80D, T7i, SL2, uh, 60 Mark II, or 70 Mark II, which has the dual pixel AF, you're planning on filming videos, super highly recommend it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. But as you guys saw earlier in the video, the portraits look absolutely outstanding on this. And for 300 something odd dollars, you can get a Canon 60D and this lens and make amazing, beautiful portraits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.